close the House and the Senate have passed different versions of President Trump's tax reform bill so now it goes to a conference committee. Here's what that means. USA Today Good. News there's still time to slash your tax burden, boost your retirement savings and get a head start on investing wisely in 2018, or before old Lang Syne plays. On New Year's Eve, bad news you'll need to take action, and soon. Use this simple checklist to save money and prepare your finances for 2018, max out 401k contributions perhaps. You began the year intending to max out your 401k. If that hasn't happened yet, you have until December 31st to fund your account. The IRS imposes strict contribution limits on tax-advantaged retirement plans. People younger than 50 can save up to $18,000 in a 401k in 2017, and the limit will increase to $18,500 in 2018. Those 50 and older can save up to $24,000 this year and next. Find out how close you've come to the max this year, then calculate how much of the difference you can set aside by end without upending other financial goals. Finally, ask your payroll department about rules for lump sum contributions and cut-off dates for plan changes. Even if you can't hit the max, your latter year contributions will grow over time thanks to compound interest, and they'll lower your taxable income. Keep the Mac out mentality going into 2018 and you won't face a last-minute scramble again. Get ahead of your taxes and ignore taxes until April, especially if you're a mutual fund investor. Hold off on buying funds between now and January. To avoid an unnecessary tax burden, actively manage mutual funds generally pay realized annual gains in December, and all shareholders who own the fund in a taxable account must pay taxes on distributions, no matter how long they've held it. If you're investing in a fund for the first time, do so after the date determining eligibility for distributions, known as the extra dividend date, so you don't pay taxes on gains you didn't enjoy. Seasoned mutual fund investors may prefer a proactive approach to avoid capital gains taxes. Eric Hanes, president and founder of Titus Wealth Management, a registered investment advisor, recommends selling actively managed mutual funds before the extra dividend date and buying index funds instead. Be sure to check the capital gains tax implications before doing so. This strategy requires precision, and there's a short window of opportunity. Once the ship has sailed, it's over. AANE says, re-examine your portfolio want a useful end of year ritual. Spend some time reviewing your portfolio. Kate Warren, investment strategist at Edward Jones, recommends doing these three basic maintenance tasks by December 31st offset gains and losses also known as tax loss harvesting. This involves selling investments at a loss before December 31st. The goal, lower or eliminate the taxes on gains you made in taxable accounts during the year. Note investors may claim a limited amount of losses on taxes in a given year. Portfolio rebalancing Not all assets move in lockstep, so over time your portfolio will drift from its ideal weighting. If a portfolio that's meant to be 70% stocks has ballooned to 80%, you must sell stocks and buy bonds to restore the balance. Some 401k providers offer rebalancing tools, but this is a Hanson project for other types of accounts. Diversification is a good time to check your portfolio's diversification among assets, such as stocks and bonds, and categories within each. You want stocks and bonds representing different company sizes, industries and locations, for example. Diversification reduces your investment risk by ensuring you're not overly exposed to any individual investment. Plan for 2018 Don't wait until January to strategize for 2018. It's been a remarkable year for stocks, marked by dozens of record highs and low volatility. But don't bank on more of the same ahead, AANE says. Rather, start preparing for an eventual sell-off. Investors need to be more cautious, he says. The prospect of higher volatility in 2018 warrants a focus on diversification, AANE says. Investors should add foreign stocks and defensive stocks to their portfolios, companies that generally do well during periods of uncertainty, such as high dividend payers that have a record of paying investors regular profits. Like AANE's, Warren favors international stocks and says diversification will help investors weather a market that's likely to deliver lower returns ahead. 
She recommends scaling back on risky investments. Even as the stock market continues to climb, investors need to add bonds to their portfolios, Warren says. They don't want to, but they should. This article was written by Nerdwale and was originally published by the Associated Press. More from Nerdwale. Tana Louise Jackson is a writer at Nerdwale. Email. Ajaxon at nerdwale.com. Twitter at algic 7 The article cross these four items off your yen investing checklist originally appeared on Nerdwale. Nerdwale is a USA Today content partner providing general news, commentary and coverage. Its content is produced independently of USA Today. Read or share this story. https usat.ly2onb7j.